another vlog. Let's get turned, everybody. Okay, so today I will be doing a hair mask. Now, I recently saw this on Zendaya's. You know who Zendaya is, then I'm not about to explain it to you, but on her app, you know, she did a hair mask and she had some great results from it. So I was like, why don't I try it? I did try this previous previous to this vlog and it does work so i'm just going to show you guys how to do it and show like how excuse excuse my hair the reason why i messed up because i'm about to mess it up so i don't really care right now I care less how my hair looks but that's just what is about to happen so for this hair mask i know i look crazy but whatever okay so we have milk coconut oil olive oil we have lemon avocado apple cider vinegar um eggs with yogurt and honey so first thing i'm gonna do is comb my hair out so it can be all like down so i'm gonna use this um the the wide teeth because i feel like it's just i don't need to comb my hair i just need to get it all down the white teeth reminds me of like a pick so i just use that to detangle detangle part so yes of course my hair is different than zendaya's hair she has she's mixed so her hair is totally different but it gave me the same results that she got so i mean why not try it so yes she got my hair all combed back and stuff you know, I feel like my hair lacks a lot of moisture and all that stuff, so I decided why not try this out, and it actually has worked. So the first thing I'm gonna put together would be, hold on, I need a knife. Okay, I'm back. So the first thing I'm gonna put together is gonna be the apple cider vinegar and a lemon. So let me pour, oh it stinks. I'm gonna pour some vinegar. I mean, you can pour a nice amount, however, however much you want to pour. I mean, it's your head. So, apple cider vinegar and lemons are good for itchiness. So, I know that for a fact. I don't know what, I don't know what else it does, but I know it's good for that. So, normally, I would have bought, like, lemon juice at the store, but I totally forgot that I was going to be doing this. So I just have to squeeze some lemons. And I'm just gonna rub the lemon in my head to get, you know, the excess juice and whatever. I'm squeezing these lemons in here and then I'll be right back with you. And then it's not as sticky. I'm gonna get napkin because it if you do it this way, it is kind of messy. Um when you do the lemon stuff, it's kind of messy. So don't do it this way. Get some get a bottle of lemon juice. It's not gonna hurt you. Free squeeze the lemon juice. So I'm just gonna take these lemons. I do apologize that I am not centered. I did not know this until I started editing. So I apologize guys. No, this wasn't recommended, but I feel like I wanna do it. So whatever little juice I can get. Put 
put these aside. So now I'm just gonna stir this just a little bit just to make sure it is incorporated or whatever. And now I've got my towel so it don't drip on my blah blah blah. So now I'm gonna slowly, slowly, if you have someone to help you, it's gonna be even better. But I don't have anyone to help me, so I'm just gonna slowly, slowly pour this into my hair. Actually, I'm gonna first do it over the sink, so I'll be right back, and then I'm gonna come back and pour the rest on my head. Okay, so I am dripping and I feel really bad because I'm in the front. Don't worry, Dad. All this is going to be clean. It's not going to smell like vinegar when you come back here. So I'm just going to try to get that all in the scalp. You know, because that's what it's there for. It's, to, it's for my scalp. So I'm going to pour all that in it. I mean, if you feel like you need more, um... If you feel like you need more of the ginger, uh ginger, <laughs> more of the vinegar and stuff like you didn't put enough in the bowl, feel free to go ahead and pour some more in your head. So I'm going to let this, my shirt is going to freaking reek of, of vinegar. So I'm going to let this sit in my head for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um... All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, After the 10 minutes, you are supposed to go and, you know, rinse it out. So that's what I did. I just rinsed it out. Um, For those of you who are um, of different ethnicities and you're looking at my hair like, what the hell happened? Um, For African-Americans, um, when our hair gets start starting ones, there's mixed one, but for like the ones that are, I mean, you should like wear gloves. Hair, I, I mean, I really should have worn gloves, but I didn't but think about it. So I didn't when our hair gets wet, gloves. it puffs up like this. Kinda this is what happens. That that, but so right now, and I'm the just next, trying to the next one I'm going to do the avocado. Um, you can also and, you don't have to do it in this um, order that I'm doing it. It's just I just want to do it this way. Um, so we're gonna do. The olive oil. Got some olive oil. Now this is of course for the moisture. You know, um once again, African Americans have to keep we have to keep our hair nice and oiled. Um maybe like every two days or something like that. It depends on it also depends on the texture of your hair or um like how much like how you feel i guess because for my scalp i do have to grease it like every two days because it's just the way my hair is you know i don't want to be itching and stuff so we're going to add some coconut oil <laughs> I'm gonna use my 
going to smash all the chunks up. So what I do, try to like, wash this out. It's not going to be. Because then, like, we pour your hair. Like, chunks floating in my tub. Instead of having chunks of avocado. But I feel like I'm still going to have chunks. But, I mean, it's whatever. Take this and place it in my hair. Smash it in there. You gotta smash the avocado. Uh, grab the avocado. Smash it all in there. Cause you know, chunks or whatever. Oh! Casey? And if you are good at smashing up avocado, some people probably should. You, I feel like I should have probably blended it first so it, it'd be easier, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. You work with what you get, you work with what you got. So, I'm gonna pour this oil. Oh, oh. Alright guys, so I just did the avocado and coconut oil and stuff like that and it does feel very moist. My curls did pop out a lot, which I do love. Um, so next we're gonna do the egg with milk. If you guys and can hear the and yogurt. sound of my but hair. But I do not like, have no my honey or the yogurt, so I don't know how effective this is going to be. So let's Egg. You can see sort of like how it's reacting to it because like it's bringing out my curls so you guys cannot see. I feel like it defines my curls more and I wish I could, I'm going to try to find a product that has this so I can like wear my curls more because I love my curls. And and also, I feel like this moisture, this combination also, like, it's not tangled, tangly. Like, you know, tangly, it's not hard to comb through. Like, it's just easier. 